Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my bathroom cleaning routine and I'm just cleaning my master bathroom which I absolutely hate doing because it just takes forever but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I always start my cleaning by spraying this Clorox cleanup on the sinks and the toilet bowl and then I just let it sit while I get everything ready and once I have everything ready, I'm just going to start on the sinks. Here in the sink, I'm just scrubbing it down with a sponge and rinsing it out since I put the Clorox cleanup. I love using this on the sinks because it leaves them nice and clean. Then I'm using this towel and dampening it, getting all the excess water out. And with this four months cleaning vinegar, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down the faucet and this will get rid of whatever watermarks that might be on it and it leaves it nice and shiny and then after that I'm just gonna move on to the counters okay now for the counters I'm using my little German chamois a new one and then this Miss Myers multi-surface cleaner in the scent lavender it is a new scent I paired up with a company called Grove Collaborative and it's pretty much like a subscription company that has all natural products and they have anything from cleaning to hygiene to baby hygiene and I am so excited about this because I wasn't able to find a lot of scents at um, Target or a lot of natural products that you guys know I love so I teamed up with them and they are so great you could have your products delivered right to your house you could try new things or you could just sign up to have your items restocked before you run out and if you use the link that I'm going to share with you in the description box you could get ten dollars of your first order and you actually save money by purchasing these products from them so if you guys want to check it out it's in the description box I am super excited about it I got some really great products so yeah I just wanted to share this with you guys actually the main reason why I wanted to sign up for this is because they have all the holiday scents from Ms. Myers which I do like and I can never find at the Target by my house <laughs> Okay, moving on, I just moved on to my side of the bathroom, the sink, and I did the exact same thing that I did on the other sink on this one. And now moving on to the most tedious part of cleaning this bathroom, which is just wiping down my little beauty area here. It's just so annoying because I wipe down all the bottles, take them off, wipe down the counter, and then I have to put them back in there. And it's just annoying because it takes forever. <laughs> Ah, the joys of being a girl. <laughs> Tone has like one thing on his side of the sink and I have like 20. <laughs> Alright, I'm using this Method Glass Cleaner to clean this little mirror tray I have here where I have all my face stuff. And then I'm also going to be cleaning this mirror which for some reason gets super dirty. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back in its place and then move on to wiping down all the cabinets. This is why I hate this part because it just takes so long. But moving on to the cabinets, I'll just go ahead and use my 7th generation wood cleaner. And I don't do this every time I clean the bathroom, but once in a while I like to clean these with the wood cleaner just to give them a little bit of a shine. But yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Just wiping this down and then we're going to move to the toilet. Before moving on to the toilet, I decided to go ahead and clean the bathtub. As I mentioned a million times before, neither me or Tone like to use the bathtub. So I usually just vacuum it, but this time I'm doing a little bit of a deeper cleaning here. So I decided to just go ahead and spray with a multi-surface cleaner and wipe it down with my little chamois. So yep, I just sprayed it all with the cleaner and wiped it down. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the toilet. Okay, so the toilet has been soaking in with the Clorox cleanup I sprayed at the beginning and now I'm just gonna clean the rest of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna spray this on the seat and then with a sponge scrub it down and then I'm grabbing this new um, chamois and then just wiping it down over and over until I get rid of all the Clorox. And this is not the same chamois that I'm using for the sinks. As you could tell, I just showed you, I have a little T that I put with a permanent marker on it and I also put one on the sponge because they're different but that way I could tell the difference between them and then with this damp towel that I sprayed with some multi-surface cleaner I just go ahead and wipe down the rest of the toilet and then I'm just cleaning this little 
last thing I have with the glass cleaner and then to finish the toilet I'm just gonna use my Clorox one you guys know I love using this because I just feel like it's more sanitary than a brush that just sits there all the time so yeah you could just scrub it down with this thing and then you get rid of the head and you are all good so that's done and now we're moving on to the shower which I also hate doing <laughs> I just hate cleaning the bathroom guys Okay, once I got everything out of the shower, I'll go ahead and spray with the Clorox cleanup. I don't like to do this ahead of time because then the smell in the bathroom is too strong and it also doesn't need to soak that much. But now I'm grabbing this bucket just to dump some water on the walls so I could go ahead and scrub them down. And I'm using this brush and I love this brush because it has a long handle and it has this small tip that is perfect for getting in any small corners and stuff like that. But yeah, all I'm doing here is scrubbing that down and then all I'm gonna do is just dump water on the walls to rinse it off so don't judge me guys this is probably a long way of doing this I really need to invest in a like shower head that has like the hose to make this easier but for now this is what I do and I do make a mess and I think this is why I hate cleaning this bathroom <laughs> this is why I keep this towel here just because I get water everywhere again don't judge me <laughs> but now for the glass doors I use this barkeeper friend soft cleanser and let me tell you something it does not take all the hard water marks of the doors, but it's the thing that has worked the best so far. And let me tell you, I've tried everything. I have put lemon on these, I have put baking soda, I have put vinegar, I had put dishwash like detergent. I have tried so many things on these doors and the water here is so hard, it's just impossible to get rid of it so I decided to try these just because they work so good in the kitchen sink and amazingly it worked really really good I could still see them a little bit but out of everything that I have used on these doors this seems to be working the best if you guys have like a miracle I don't know cleaner for hard water marks let me know but I'm telling you I've tried it everything on the book like everything I found online I've tried and nothing seems to work this is the best thing so far <laughs> but it is a little bit hard to take off like if you've used it in your sink before it's really hard to get rid of so once I take a shower myself I'll just rinse off whatever I see that I didn't get off and that's about it now I'm just cleaning the outside of the door with the glass cleaner and I always forget to clean the mirror so I just went back to each of the sinks and I'm just cleaning those off with the method glass cleaner and once I'm done with this we're just gonna go ahead and move on to vacuuming and mopping the floors and you guys probably see me talking I'm on the phone with my mom I just have her on speaker I'm not crazy I mean I do talk to myself but I'm not talking to myself here <laughs> Okay, before I start vacuuming, I'll go ahead and empty out the garbage. I got rid of the head of the Clorox wand and then I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the bathroom. You guys know that I just like to use the regular vacuum just to clean all the floor and everything and then I'll take off the little attachment and get in all the corners where my vacuum didn't get to pick up whatever it is, either dust balls or hair or whatever. <laughs> Okay, now moving on to the floor, I am using a little bit of pine salt and some hot water. I'm just using the tiniest bit because I didn't put that much water. All I'm mopping is this bathroom and that's about it. So yeah, I'm just using my spin mop, which you guys know I love and it is linked in the description box below. So if you are interested in getting it, it is linked there for you guys. But yeah, all I'm gonna do here is mop the floor and then I'll show you how the bathroom looks at the end and also what I do after I clean the bathrooms. Okay, once I finish mopping, I'll go ahead and put everything back in its place and every time I clean the bathroom, I'll get rid of whatever towels and mats wear out and I'll just replace them with fresh ones. So that's what you see me doing here and yeah. That's it, that's all I do here and here you can see the bathroom. I love the way it looks after it's clean, I just hate doing it but I love that it's nice and organized and it smells so good. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so that is it. This is how I clean my bathroom. I know a lot of you requested this video, so I hope it gave you some ideas. I am not a professional cleaner, nor do I know if I'm doing it the right or wrong way, but this is the way I do it and that works for me. <laughs> now I just wanted to show you really quick what I do after I finish cleaning the bathroom. Every time I do this, I'll go ahead and wash those rags right away. I keep them in this bucket, whatever other rag I have that might be dirty, and I put them in my washer put my beads my regular detergent and i'll use the auto cleanse deodorizer you guys know i love this stuff i have coupon code for you guys in the description box if you're interested in getting it and yeah that's it i'll just put that in a sanitized cycle which is like two hours but it gets everything nice and clean and that's about it guys this is all for today thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.